Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today we're diving into Commarker's flagship B6 fiber laser cutter, specifically the top of the line 60 watt MOPA model. Over the last month I've put this compact powerhouse through its paces, engraving aluminum cards at lightning fast speeds, slicing through sheet metal, and even coaxing rainbow hues out of stainless steel. Whether you're curious how a MOPA fiber laser stacks up at higher frequencies, or just want to see what 2mm thick brass coins look like straight off of the laser, stick around. I've got time lapses, set settings tips, and a full rundown of every feature from autofocus to accessories. Let's jump in. Before we begin, this B6 was provided for me to review by Commarker. As with all of my reviews, they aren't paying me for this review, and everything I say is my own honest opinion after using this fiber laser for the last month. My videos do have affiliate links in the description, so if you're interested in anything you see in my videos, including fiber lasers, materials, or accessories, you can use those links to help support my channel. We appreciate it. The B6 is Commarker's flagship fiber laser series. It comes in both a non-MOPA and MOPA configurations, which I'll touch on the differences a little later. The model I have today is the B6 60 watt MOPA, the top of the line model. If you don't need quite as much power, Commarker has a 30 watt and a 20 watt version. They all have the same features, just with a lower powered laser source. The B6 fiber laser produces a 1064 nanometer wavelength infrared laser. Fiber lasers are perfect for working with nearly all metals and plastics, as well as natural materials like leather, stone, and ceramics. Fiber lasers do not work on woods or transparent materials like glass or clear acrylic. The B6 uses a pair of Galvo mirrors to redirect the laser up to 15,000 millimeters per second. I was often using 6,000 millimeters per second for my aluminum card engravings, and the B6 was easily able to keep up with that speed. The 60 watt JPT MOPA laser source is powerful, easily able to cut through sheet metal or deep engraved solid metals. These coins were especially fun to make, eating through this 2mm brass in just over an hour. All fiber lasers are pulsed lasers, firing the laser thousands or millions of times per second. The Commarker B6 MOPA fiber laser has a pulse frequency range of 1 to 4000 kHz. Different materials respond better to different frequencies, and the B6 MOPA has a large range of frequencies to really let you dial in those settings. The B6 is also a MOPA fiber laser, which stands for Master Oscillator Power Amplifier. This type of laser provides enhanced control, allowing you to fine-tune the waveform of each pulse down to the nanosecond. As a result, this laser can maintain peak power across a wide range of frequencies, something non-MOPA fiber lasers struggle with at higher frequencies. MOPA technology gives you that extra level of adjustability when working with materials, making it especially effective for producing vibrant, multicolored effects on surfaces like stainless steel. The Commarker B6 is a modular machine with a unique 2-in-1 design. It can be run as a single integrated unit, minimizing the desktop space needed, or it can be run in a split setup with the laser source separate from the laser head. This gives you the flexibility on where you can place it in your shop, allowing you to optimize for space, ventilation, or ease of access. I found the all-in-one desktop configuration my favorite. It was convenient to have it all in one place, and gives me plenty of access for my fume extractor. In the all-in-one configuration, it is just 430mm by 245mm by 550mm, a very compact size. The B6 is also very lightweight, coming in at just 13.5 kilograms or 30 pounds. Even though the B6 has a compact design, the work area is very reasonable at 150 by 150 millimeters with the included lens. I never felt limited by size with any of my tests. However, if you do need a larger area, you can purchase the 300 by 300 millimeter field lens. The work area has a grid of holes spaced 25 millimeters apart, which you can use the included alignment bars to create a jig for accurately placing your materials for batch jobs. The tallest part that you can fit on the B6 normally is 150 millimeters tall. Commarker includes a riser, which can increase the engraving height by an additional 150 millimeters. This is great for working with taller objects or when using the optional rotary attachments. On front is the emergency stop latch, a power button, an LED light bar, and an up and down buttons for moving the laser head. On the back we see the main power inputs, connectors for the rotary attachment, foot pedal, and enclosure. There are two USB ports. The Type-B port labeled Data goes to your computer, and the Type-C port is used for the motorized lifting stand. A huge quality of life feature is the one-touch autofocus. Simply place your material on the autofocus dot and press the auto button on the touch screen. The B6 will measure the distance between the laser head and the material and will automatically move the laser head up or down to the perfect focal distance. 
ComMarker does an excellent job at calibrating and validating the settings for each laser. When you unbox your laser, you'll find a detailed calibration sheet with all of the tested settings. Everything from the precise focal distance to the tested wavelength and frequency of the laser source. The focal distance for my B6 is 256 millimeters. If you open the settings panel on the touchscreen, you can see the set focal distance there, as well as a real-time view of the current distance. The B6's autofocus consistently moved the laser head to within a tenth of a millimeter, and I had no issues with autofocus not working on any material I tested. It wasn't thrown off by reflective metals or matte plastics, it just worked. The ComMarker B6 includes an inline red laser, which shines through the galvo and lens to outline the design that you are about to engrave. With Lightburn, you can outline the rectangular boundary of your design, the outermost contour, or each individual shape with a red laser. This lets you precisely position your material. Unlike other fiber lasers that I've tested, the B6's red laser is very visible from all angles. I had no problem seeing the outline. And once you have your material positioned where you want it, you can use the included foot pedal to start the job. This is a great quality of life feature, and means that you don't have to walk back over to your computer to start the job. It also lets you easily run batch jobs, like these aluminum business cards. I could finish one, swap out the cards, and step on the foot pedal to start another job. You do have to be careful though, and place the foot pedal somewhere where it cannot be accidentally stepped upon. The B6 has a number of optional accessories to expand your capabilities. There are a few different rotary attachments for engraving round and cylindrical objects. You can pick up a safety shield to block off the front and side of the laser, or pick up their full enclosure. Finally, ComMarker also has fume extractors. I highly recommend using a fume extractor to remove smoke, fumes, and particles. And with this 60 watt laser, you'll be making a lot of each. While I was using my own fume extractor during my tests, ComMarker does sell their own extractors. The packaging of the B6 is very nice. It has a sturdy, printed box suitable for retail shelves. Inside, each component is individually boxed and labeled. The B6 required a small amount of assembly, a few bolts to attach the laser head to the lifting stand, and then attach the stand to the base. If you want to run in split mode configuration, then assembly is done. Or you can use four bolts to attach the two pieces together. I did find it a little difficult to get all four bolts in, they just didn't want to start threading. But eventually, I was able to get all four threaded without cross-threading but just be aware to take your time. Moving to the software side, the ComMarker B6 works with EasyCAD 2 and Lightburn. A copy of EasyCAD 2 is on the included USB stick. ComMarker calibrates the B6 at the factory, and those config files are on the USB stick. So simply opening EasyCAD 2 from the USB stick will open the correct configs for your laser. EasyCAD 2 is functional, and not too difficult to get up and running. However, it is a little rough around the edges, and the localization into English isn't perfect. My preferred program to use is Lightburn, and thankfully the B6 MOPA works great with it. You do need a Lightburn Pro license to work with fiber lasers, but it is well worth the license cost in my opinion. Lightburn can import the EasyCAD 2 configuration file, which makes setup pretty easy, although I did have to manually set the size back to 150mm, where Lightburn imported it as 175mm. That caused the scaling to be off initially, causing the 7cm ruler to measure closer to 8cm. However, simply setting the size back to 150mm by 150mm fixed that, and the scaling was perfect. Lightburn's material test pattern makes it simple to dial in the settings for each material, and since this is a MOPA fiber laser, you can also vary the Q-pulse duration in these test patterns to really dial it in. The drivers for EasyCAD 2 and Lightburn conflict with each other, so switching between the two programs requires uninstalling or reinstalling the correct driver. Thankfully, Lightburn has a help page which walks you through the required steps. So with all of the specs out of the way, let's look at how well the ComMarker B6 MOPA cuts and engraves. As with every laser, you need to know what materials are laser safe. Many materials can be dangerous, creating noxious fumes that can harm you or your machine. I wish the B6's manual went into a little more detail about the safety aspects. They only say, do not engrave materials with unknown properties. Which is good advice, but I wish that they warned about specific materials like PVC, which can emit dangerous chlorine gas. First up, coated aluminum. The B6 easily removed the coating, exposing the bright aluminum underneath. I had the most consistent results at 6,000 mm per second, 50% power, 50 kHz frequency, and a 200 nanosecond Q-pulse duration. Different colors react differently, but those settings seem to be a good middle ground that worked on most colors. I liked their included Spider-Man design on the USB drive. It turned out very clean. The B6 can also easily cut through these aluminum cards, which are 0.2 mm thick. I was running at 90% power at 50 mm per second using Lightburn's wobble setting. The 60 watt B6 is amazing at deep engraving these solid brass coins using Lightburn's 3D slice feature. I could watch these time lapses all day. This spider coin took about 2 hours to engrave, 
and I engraved too deep. It even cut through the entire 2mm thick coin. These coins have had no manual cleanup. These are straight off the laser. I'll be experimenting with different ways of cleaning and polishing these brass coins in the future though, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that upcoming video. And continuing with metal cutting, I purchased different thicknesses of stainless steel sheet metal to test. The 60 watt B6 MOPA easily cut through the 4 thousandths of an inch, or 0.1 millimeter steel. Jumping up to 1 hundredths of an inch, or 0.3 millimeter steel, it started to struggle before the heat caused it to warp out of the focal area. But cutting stainless steel sheet metal is possible with the B6. The B6 MOPA has another trick up its sleeves. By varying all of the settings, power, speed, line interval, frequency, and pulse durations, you can achieve beautiful colored oxides on stainless steel. Commarker provides an excellent color test pattern on the USB stick, which includes the settings for creating these 25 beautiful colors. The MOPA control is what allows for these brilliant hues. My results were also more consistent when I defocused the laser by raising it 2 millimeters, as you can see in these results. Fiber lasers are not just for metals though. I had great results with the B6 on dark acrylic. It created a brilliant white mark on this black acrylic. These 3D print log keychains look great, and even the small marks on the ruler turned out perfect. These were only engraved on the B6 though. Don't expect to cut out the acrylic on this laser. I had a tougher time dialing in the settings for photo engraving on black acrylic. The 60 watts is powerful, and I was running at 10% power, and could probably use a bit more testing to get perfect picture results. Dark colored plastics and polymers also work great on the B6. This part was 3D printed out of a dark navy matte PLA, and the B6 created dazzling white marks on the 3D printed plastic. The color of the plastic matters though. The darker the color, the better it absorbs the infrared laser. Lighter colors won't engrave as cleanly. Natural materials also work great on the B6. Darker leathers engraved cleanly, creating a nice gold appearance. As with plastics, lighter colored leathers won't work as well though. And finally, stone and ceramics are excellent on the B6. Slate is still one of my favorite materials, and I love making these slate coasters on the 60 watt MOPA. It can deeply engrave the stone, creating this 3D effect in just a few passes. In conclusion, the Com Marker B6 MOPA is a compact fiber laser that packs a punch. I had an excellent experience using this powerful fiber laser. How you set it up, either in compact all-in-one mode or in the split configuration, gives you that flexibility to place it anywhere in your shop. Setup was easy, and I was up and engraving pretty quickly. The detailed calibration and QA paperwork gives me the confidence that the factory set up and tested this machine thoroughly, and that resulted in me having no issues in any of my tests. And those test results were stunning. It easily handled all of the materials that I threw at it, with very clear results. I really like the deep engraving of these brass coins. The 60 watt laser ate through the brass like butter. I like the B6's quality of life features. The autofocus works quickly, and the focus was always spot on. And using the foot pedals to start jobs made running batch jobs easy. If you don't need the power of the 60 watt version, then the B6's 30 watt or 20 watt versions will give you all of the same features, just with the lower powered laser source. If you are working with metals, the more power the better. But if you are mostly working with polymers, then a lower power laser might be all you need. The Commarker B6 60 watt MOPA fiber lasers basic bundle is on sale for 4,319 US dollars at the time of recording. The bundle with the rotary attachments is 4,527 US dollars. I would recommend the safety bundle, which includes a fume extractor and a safety shield. Fume extractors are important to protect your lungs and machines even when working in a well-ventilated environment. And finally, the Ultimate Bundle, which includes a rotary, fume extractor, and full enclosure, sells for $5,135. US If you don't need all of the power that the 60-watt version provides, the 30-watt bundle sells for about $1,000 less, and the 20-watt bundle is about $1,300 less. Comparing prices with other 60-watt MUPA fiber lasers on the market, the Commarker B6 is one of the more affordable options. The Safety Bundle in particular is a good value for money compared to other offerings, especially considering that the B6 can be run in both a compact single unit or run in split unit configurations. I really like that flexibility. I had a great time using the Commarker V6 MOPA, and I could strongly recommend it for a small business or company looking for a fully featured MOPA fiber laser. So thank you all for watching my review of the Commarker B6 MOPA fiber laser. What was your favorite feature? What features do you think it's missing? Let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking for feedback on my reviews, so don't hold back your thoughts. I have plenty of upcoming projects and reviews, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.